going on people it's the xbox 448 and in today's video guys i want to talk about two things um i want to talk about some ways to make mixer kind of like really unique and uh kind of like its own character on xbox moving forward and and uh w one key way right and i want to talk about the rumors of this new elite controller that might be coming out might be shown at e3 this year so guys let's get into it let's first talk about the controller because if you have followed my channel if you are friends with me on xbox live you know i have had an issue with the elite controller first of all the elite controller that did come out i believe um it was like i i got mine early like 2016 or so uh, the rubber grips on mine came apart. Uh, the right bumper decided it was going to break and, and not work. And uh, just all in all, I've had a really bad experience with a controller that was $150. Now, I do have to say, the um, thought process behind it, you know, with the magnetic joysticks, you know, switching out the, the thumb pads and stuff like that, the, the paddles, um, the triggers, putting in hair triggers, uh, stuff like that, all the options that they gave you was really cool. And uh, it seems that this Chinese website has come out with a couple pictures. They're really like teaser pictures and stuff like that, but talking about an Elite Controller 2. And I got to say, guys, uh, it is about time, man. Uh, I thought they need to kind of revamp the, the Elite Controller, fix the problems that a lot of people were having, such as myself, when it came to the first one. Now, if you remember back in, I believe it was 2016, uh, Windows Central's Jez Gordon actually came out with an article stating that, you know, they were indeed working on uh, the Elite Controller 2, which in his article they talked about detachable triggers or whatnot. Now, this Chinese website did not say anything about detachable or uh, triggers, you know, swappable triggers or anything like that. Um, but one of the things that they did say is a three-level hair trigger lock. Now, for people who use um, the Elite Controller, you know that on the back there's a switch that will kind of lock your your triggers to not go down all the way. And they're, they're really responsive. They're hair triggers. Now what the chinese website is saying here that there's going to be three levels that you can adjust between which is really cool if if they come out with something like that uh um you know it has my interest but the thing is guys uh xbox microsoft you guys hopefully have fixed you know the the bumper situation in terms of the right and left bumpers hopefully uh you guys kind of really if you're doing rubber grips on the sides like you did with the first one you really make sure those things are cemented down in place and and kind of stuck in there for the long haul because um you know when it came to the elite controller one you guys said that this was that one controller that'll be with you for years and mine lasted maybe a year before all of this started happening to it and um i will say i have strong hands I, I know this. Um, controllers do not do good in my hands. I go through controllers like crazy. But with the Elite having that kind of like metal underworking, that metal infrastructure, I, I felt like this was going to be the one that would last me a while. And it lasted me about a year. So I, I hope they have fixed all that. And I hope, uh, you know, they come out with this soon. I, I Actually, I don't even want them to wait until E3. Uh, I want them to kind of come out, Not reveal always. it, put it out there before E3, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm, I'm guessing it's E3 as well, uh, but it's cool. It's something that Jez Gordon has talked about, you know, in 2016. You have people coming out now, Where's you know, in, in terms of this, this website from, you know, on the other side of the world. And, and people seem to have some type of excitement for this. Uh, I know I'm excited for it. I need to look into it more to make sure they have uh, fixed kind of like the 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 major flaws of the first one but um uh let's see what happens now on that note i do want to talk about mixer i want to talk about people streaming from their xbox to the mixer app which i know a lot of people on my friends list do and it's a cool feature but i thought about one really key way to make mixer separate than uh like youtube on the ps4 or twitch on all the platforms and stuff a way to really make it its own how about having 
overlay. Uh, a, a way that you could design your overlay to go over your game on Mixer, you know, to go with your webcam and stuff like that. If, if it's pre-made, if there's ways that we can adjust it, something like that. I feel that that would be a truly innovative way to kind of progress Mixer on Xbox. And as usual, guys, I want to know what you think about that. If, if they have like pre-made overlays that you can kind of adjust, put a webcam border in there, uh, type in, you know, your social media and stuff that goes up on the overlay as you're streaming. I think that would be a really cool idea. I think it's something that wouldn't be too hard to do. So that's why I'm kind of throwing it out there to the gaming community, my supporters, to see what you guys think about that idea. Now, I do know that they are uh, kind of right, reworking um, Upload. That's right, people. Uh, Xbox is reworking Upload. They're finally upgrading it. Uh, I know there's, there's a small number of people that are actually testing out a reworked Upload studio. So I don't see it as too far-fetched. If you're gonna rework Upload, possibly somehow combining Mixer and Upload together. And, and like I said, hopefully, I want to see overlays, man. Kind of like what they do with the scenes and stuff in Upload Studio. Now, if they can do that, I will be really happy. I will uh, stream to Mixer even more. Just because, I, I mean, frankly, it's easier. It's easier to have that, that streaming ability right on my console. That's one of the things I really like my PS4 for is uh, the fact that I can stream to YouTube and it's really simple. So hopefully they take Mixer, they take that app, and they just bump it up a notch. And, and we can create overlays and stuff like that. Kind of customize uh, the viewing experience, you know, for our followers, our supporters, our viewers. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much the video for today. So I want to know a couple things in the comments. Definitely hit up that comment section. I want to know... Um, do you have the Elite Controller? What is your experience with it? And please do not sugarcoat it. I, I have seen a lot of people in the community kind of like sugarcoat their experience with the Elite Controller. And it is a great controller. It was a beautiful controller when I first got it out the box and, and for a few months. And then, you know, uh, the shit started to roll, per se. Everything kind of like the rubber started coming off and then the, the right bumper broke and then the left bumper became uh, less responsive and man it, it just got crazier from there but uh what is your experiences with the elite controller if, if they were good or bad uh definitely hit up the comment section on you know if you're excited for the next version of the elite controller and then of course the whole mixer app and them kind of reworking upload studio how how would you take um advantage of possibly having an overlay option to, to put over your games as you're streaming that you can kind of like customize yourself. Uh, I want to know. I want to know what you guys think. Um, I'm kind of brainstorming here on, you know, kind of like the next evolution of, you know, streaming games from your console. And I think this is a great step, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. So as usual, if you like the gameplay, you know, you like the topics, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. We are basically right around the corner to a bunch of new content coming to this channel. Uh, starting like late February, early March, I will be doing um, a webcam on my live streams when I, when I stream games and stuff. And it's a really exciting time. I am really pumped for this year and the amount of content that uh, I have planned to come to this channel. So, you know, definitely subscribe. Um, but as for now, this is the Xbox. Four, four, eight, and I am definitely signing off.